This is the uh, statistics chapter five quiz on um, making a box plot by hand. So we have the weekly salaries in dollars of 24 randomly selected employees of a company. And the numbers are in order, so we just try to make it a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is number one, I'm going to make a five number summary. So the five number summary is min, Q1, median, Q3, and max. Well, I can find my min and my max pretty quickly here. My minimum is going to be 310. So I'm going to write that in there, 310. And my maximum is going to be 3,700. So I'm going to write in 3,700. Then my median, my median is a value that's right in the middle. So how many values do I have? I have three rows, one, two, three rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight values. It means I have 24 values. The median is going to be right in the middle. It's going to be 12 values. So I have eight along the top. 9, 10, 11, 12. My median is right here. So it's between 700 and 710. If I add those two together and divide by 2, my median is going to be 705. Now my Q1 and my Q3 are the median of the lower half and the median of the upper half. So I know I have 12 values on my lower half. I have 12 values between here and here. So I need to count in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. My Q1 is going to be right in here. So I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six there. And one, two, three, four, five, six there. So I add those two together. Uh, 500 plus 520. So my Q1 is going to be 510. Q3, I'm going to follow the same process. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My Q3 is going to be right there between 1200 and 1250. So that's 1225. And what do you know? Boom! I have a five number summary. So you can check off that question. Number two is what is the IQR? IQR, interquartile range. Q1 is one quartile. Q3 is another quartile. I want the interquartile range. I want the range between those two. So if I want to find the range between those two, I go 1225 minus 510, and that is 715. That is my IQR. IQR is not 510 to 1225. IQR is the number that is between my Q3 and my Q1. The next question is, what is my range? Well, my range is simply the difference between my maximum value and my minimum value. So I have 3700 minus 310. My range is 3,390. That is my range. Okay, so I'm going to stop question number two to question number three. And now I need to make a box plot. Well, in order to make a box plot, I need to do a couple of things. First of all, I need to figure out what kind of a scale I'm going to use. And since I could see that my minimum was 310 and my maximum was 3700, I figured I could use a scale that went from 0 to 4000. And that's what I made over here in this graph. So um, in my box plot, I start with the box. It's going to be the IQR. So I have to start with my Q1, which is 510. So I'm going to do a box right here at about my bottom line at about 510. And my Q3, which is at 1225, so I'd say that's probably about right there. My line's about the same size if I can. And I connect them with a the box. So there's the beginning of my box plot. 
in between Q1 and Q3, I have my median, which is 705. So I'm going to say that that's probably, yeah, probably right about there. It's 705. So now I have the box part of my box plot. The next thing I need to do is figure out my whiskers. But in order to figure out my whiskers, I have to figure out my fences. So let's figure out my fences. Fences is IQR. 715 times 1.5. And without a calculator, I think I can actually do this. I have 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Now I'm going to go 1 times 715. 715. I add those together, I get 5, 2, 6, 10. 10,000. Did I get that right? No. It's wrong. 6 is wrong. It's a 7, so I forgot to carry my 1. 10,725. But I had a decimal point here. So in order to put the decimal point in the right spot, since I had one decimal point that way, I'm going to move my decimal point one this way. And so my 1.5 times IQR is 1072. Well, I'm going to take Q3, which is 1225, and I'm going to add 1072 to that. I'll skip the 0.5. That's close enough. 1072 to that. So I'm going to get my upper fence at 7. 9, 2, 2. So 2, 2, 9, 7. That's going to be my upper fence. So let's put in our upper fence at 2, 2, 9, 7. So about 2,300. So like right about there. My lower fence is going to be Q1, which is 5, 10 minus my 1.5 IQR, 1,072. And I can tell right there that that's going to be a negative number. And I know already that my minimum is 110. So my fence, technically speaking, would be way down here someplace. But I don't really need it because I know that my minimum value is going to be within that fence. So my lowest value that is still within the fences is 310. So I'm going to say that looks like it's about right here. So I draw one whisker. I connect it like that. And then my highest value that is still within my fence of 2297. Well, let's see here. I had 3700, that's higher. And it looks like 2500, that's higher. It looks like 1720 is the minimum value it is still within my fences. So I would say that's probably right about here. So I draw that whisker. And I connect that to my box plot. And the only thing I'm missing now is my two outliers of, I can't even tell it, it's 2300, 2500, and 3700. So I have an outlier right there, 2500. And I have an outlier up here at 37. And that's my box plot. That's the way this quiz works.